It's never been easier to recycle plastic bags and wraps. Many major grocers and retail stores across the country have recycle bins that accept this broad category of soft, flexible plastics known as polyethylene film. In 2010, nearly 972 million pounds of plastic bags and film were recycled in the United States a 50% increase since 2005. This valuable material can be used to make many different kinds of recycled products, like containers, crates, pipe, and new bags. But most go into durable composite lumber, like the kind made by Trex. This is the start of our processing side. What you have here is the material going up feed valves where we're gonna take the plastic bags and other plastic Shred it into smaller pieces. Trex shreds and processes plastic bags, product wraps, and other films to help make many of its popular outdoor living products, fences, decks, and benches, to name a few. The company recycles more than 2 billion bags a year at this plant in Winchester, Virginia. That's about 720,000 pounds of material each week. With growing demand for their products, they need lots of polyethylene film. And it doesn't all come from one source. Here's a water uh, bottle overwrap material. Here's an apple bag. Here's a retail bag, Ziploc bag, bagel bag, bread bag, and a newspaper bag. So the programs that we have not only collect plastic bags, but other types of plastic polyethylene packaging. That's right, bags from dry cleaning, bread, newspapers, produce and other groceries, as well as many plastic overwraps from many of the products we use every day can be recycled right along with bags. Some bags even feature the film recycling label to help folks quickly identify what's recyclable. And I think what needs to happen is a, is a cultural change that these types of materials, these types of packaging need to be collected and you get in the habit of taking them back to the store. Once that happens, there's, a, there's an infrastructure in place to turn it into bales and to get the material to recyclers that are turning it into products like composite lumber, railroad ties, and there's a, there's a number of other products that can be made out of scrap polyethylene films. So bag up all you can and head for a nearby recycling bin. It can be as easy as going shopping.